In this tutorial, you will learn how to connect to a data warehouse and build a simple query using data stored in the data warehouse. First, we select File. And then, we select New. And then, Project. And finally, Report Server Project. Then we click OK. Now that we have started a new project, we will connect to our data warehouse for access to source data. We right click on Shared Data Sources. We select Add New Data Source. We enter a meaningful name for our data source. We click the Edit button to enter our server connection string. In this dialog box, we specify the name of the remote data server that contains our desired data warehouse. The exact server name is included in the same folder as your project number 3, BPM slash dashboard lab assignment. We select SQL Server Authentication. And we enter the username and password to access the remote server. We click Test Connection. If the connection is successful, we click OK. We click this drop-down to reveal available data sources. From the list of available sources, we select the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse. Once again, we test our connection. If the connection is successful, we click OK. We click OK to continue and we click OK again. Now that we have connected to the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse, we must now create an SQL query against the Data Warehouse data. We right-click on Shared Data Sets. And we select Add New Data Set. We then select Query Designer to create our SQL query. We select the Add Tables button to add data warehouse tables to our query. We will hold down the Control key and select the following dimensions, Promotion, Sales Territory, and Reseller. We will also select the Reseller Sales Fact Table. After we have made our selections, we will click Add. And then we will select Close. We will rearrange the tables in this window to more clearly see our denormalized star schema. We now see a denormalized star schema with three dimensional tables and one fact table. Note the SQL query statement at the bottom that reflects our table selections. We will select the English promotion name field from the promotion dimension. We will select the Sales Territory Country field from the Sales Territory dimension. We will select the Reseller Name field from the Reseller dimension. Finally, we will select Extended Amount 
and unit price discount percent fields from the reseller sales fact table. Once we have selected all tables and fields to be included in our report, we click OK. The SQL query statement is once again displayed. If desired, we could edit the SQL query within this window. For this example, we will accept the default query statement and click OK. We now have a shared data set that can be used to query the AdventureWorks data warehouse and populate a report or dashboard.